Hey, Chuckster, what would you make of Toronto making a move? And what did that say to, to you about the Raptors going out and getting Serge Ibaka for Terrence Ross? I think it was a great upgrade uh, to go out and get Serge Ibaka. They didn't give up a lot. I mean, Ter- Terrence Ross wasn't really in their rotation. It's an upgrade. Uh, Serge Ibaka got a lot of pressure on him. He's a free agent. He's got a chance to take Toronto to the next level. Uh, I thought it was a great trade. You have to understand, Ernie, you take away Cleveland. We don't know who the second best team in the Eastern Conference is. We talk about the Wizards. We talk about the Celtics. We talk about Toronto. I actually think this makes Toronto the second best team in the Eastern yeah, Conference. Yeah, because we had almost kind of stopped talking about them a bit. They've been in a slide, and Washington's been on the rise, and yeah. Boston is still there at number two. Well, you, I think the loss of Bismarck Biombo last year yes. was big, bigger than they thought it would be. And Abaka brings a lot of those elements back, plus three-point shooting. Yeah. Plus three-point shooting. So you have an upgrade possibly at that spot. So now they do become possibly the second best team in the Eastern Conference on paper. But the Boston Celtics have not been looking at paper all year. They say, forget paper. When we come to play, we're the second best team in the East and maybe the first best team because we play together, we play hard, we play smart and play together. Forget the names on that roster, but we are the second best team without question. And I disagree with that. That's what they say because you look at what they're doing. But listen, right now, before this, I think the Wizards are the second best team in the Eastern Conference. I'm curious to see how this thing going to work with Serge Ibaka. Listen, the Celtics, the Wizards, Toronto, I think you can put those in a bucket and pick one out and you'll have the second best team. Is there a move that one of those teams could make before the deadline that puts them... Well, we don't know that, Ernie, because... No, is there? I no, mean, no, 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 I'm saying... Thinking about... Because... Could they, you know, I, I've been reading these articles the next couple of days that said that, you know, obviously Carmelo's in play, came out today Jimmy that... But, Jimmy Butler may be in play. It says Jimmy Butler's in play. I did a radio show in Chicago today that he might be in play. In the day, there was another article that came out that says Andre Drum- Drummond might be on the block. So, yeah, there's a trade all of them could make to get better, but it depends on which one they make. I still think Boston needs a, a, another guy with Isaiah. You know, they, Kenny, they play well. They play, play together, but I think they need another bigger guy, bona fide score, like a Jimmy Butler. I, well, they asked me today uh, on this radio show in Chicago, would I trade Jimmy Butler? I think the Celtics got two draft picks. They don't want to give up that first round that they got from Brooklyn because it's going to be top three. It's probably going to be a top three, but... The question is, if you add Jimmy Butler <laughs> and you're not giving up anything else but maybe a couple of role players, I'm not sure. that I, I, I might do that deal if I'm with the Celtics because Jimmy Butler is a proven all-star. Him and Isaiah together would be formidable. Yeah, yeah your question. top three pick may not be as good as Jimmy Butler will ever be. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and plus, true. think about it also, Ernie, that top three pick, He's probably going to be a young kid that's not going to help your team it's for the next two, two three years. Yeah, and really you already have Jalen Brown, who's going to be right. the, basically a top yes. three pick, who is waiting to, in, in, in the wings to be a good player. And, and you've got to make the decision on Isaiah Thomas at the end of the season, too, on a max deal. Here at uh, All-Star Weekend, uh, there's a lot going on and, and, and a lot of things that you see that are special for this event. And uh, that also goes in the emoji world. Uh, I know you're a big fan of emojis, Chuckster. And, uh, I don't even know what emoji is. <laughs> uh, because if you were on social media, they really come in handy. I, I'm never going to be on social media. Yes, you are, Chuck. Never. Yes, yeah, you're you on social media now. You have a, you have a website. Exactly. That's social media. I don't, I don't. Listen, that's TNT's. Uh, but I don't, I don't not talk to these fools on the Internet. <laughs> oh, so you're not going to do it on a, on a second by second basis? No, I'm never going to do Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Well, somebody just I, tweeted I, I, me and said, I think high marks you should for, do it. for uh, artistic creativity for the James. James Harden and Anthony Davis uh, emojis in like the Western the Conference. I do like the uh, Anthony Davis. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we also Harden. have TNT emojis. Um, you, you, you know, mine was predictable. Shaq's was predictable. Kenny the Jet predictable. And I guess yours was too, Chuck. <laughs> well, I, 
I'll let y'all have some fun with this emoji stuff. I think that's what it is. Yes. Oh my that's gosh. What, that's what we just. And it's called. called it. It's called the internet. Yes, it is called. Uh, yeah. You, and it's more you, than just a fad. You feel? Yeah. Going you nowhere. guys feel the need to talk to all these fools? I don't. No. You talking to these fools? You call it right now? Right. These are the same people. These people got television. They're not it's on the, the same internet. thing. They have computers no, and cell phones not. too. No, they're Anybody not. who has a television has a cell phone in their hand too, man. What are you talking about, man? It, it, Kenny already had a request. Can I get it? Can I get some? Oh. When, when the Saints go marching in. Uh, uh, Oh. oh, when the saints go marching in. 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 I want to be in that number. No, I wasn't. When the Saints come marching in. Oh, no, no more, Shaq. You want your, uh, you want your diesel emoji? Can we give it to the crowd? Yeah, give it to the crowd. There we go. A diesel. Let me sign it. I should have signed it. Let me sign that.